In your fragrance journey, have you noticed that it can be a little bit frustrating trying to ride that fine line between really good quality fragrance and a price that you can afford? Normally, when you find a really awesome smelling fragrance, the price definitely matches. In fact, each of these seven that we're gonna be talking about in a moment, they smell expensive, but you're gonna pay a fraction of the cost that you would for other fragrances that smell this way. So when we return, I'm gonna show you seven fragrances that smell very expensive, but are very affordable. That and more, so stay tuned. Today on the docket, we have seven fragrances that I pulled off the shelf just for you that are specifically super affordable, sometimes ridiculously affordable, and yet they smell expensive. Each of these fragrances smell like you would pay much more than what you actually are gonna pay for them. With each one of these, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an idea what they're gonna smell like, how they're gonna perform, and what best scenario to utilize them in, what best weather to use them in. And I left some links in the description in case you wanna check any of them out for yourself. Our very first fragrance on the docket came out in 2007. It is from Kenneth Cole and it is called RSVP. RSVP is actually a really woody, musky, sensual smelling nighttime wear fragrance. You can wear it during the day, but it's primarily for evening wear simply because it's got that darker, richer, light leathery tone. It opens with top notes of pepper, grapefruit, and lavender, and then it eases into relaxing heart notes of orchid, cedar, and iris, resting on a base of vetiver, cashmere wood, patchouli, and sandalwood. Now the fragrance was created by Frank Vocal. If you know any of Frank Vocal's works, he's an amazing perfumer. With that pepper, grapefruit, and bergamot, it opens very bright and spicy. This fragrance is such an underdog, an, an underrated gem. Nobody talks about it. I didn't know anything about RSVP until I happened to see it in a rack store one day. I picked it up, immediately fell in love with it. This is a wonderful little fragrance, super versatile. It's gonna be great for date nights. It's gonna be appropriate even for the office. It has an appeal to both casual and formal. It can be an all year round fragrance, but it's primarily good for cooler weather. The nice dry vetiver, rich cashmere wood, and that soft creamy sandalwood give kind of an essence of a leathery feel to it. There is no leather note in this fragrance, but it dries down, feels like a rich kind of leather. I found this for 20 bucks at a rack store. You can get it for 17 at Fragrance X. Kenneth Cole's RSVP. This next fragrance has been around since 2006 and it is from Jupe. It's called Jupe Go. Now don't let that green fool you. It's not an aftershave. It's not a just a cheapy, junky, synthetic mess. This actually was created by perfumist Sophie Lave. It has a really nice aromatic composition. Bitter orange, pimento, and rhubarb are in the top. You've got bourbon, geranium, violet, and cypress in the heart. And then a really nice balsamic, balsam fir, and musk in the base. This fragrance surprised me. I was expecting just looking at the bottle, something like super synthetic and super throwaway. But this has a nice, clean, edgy appeal to it. And of course, with that rhubarb, you get a little bit of that sweet and sour. This isn't super sweet, but it has a little bit of sweetness to it. This is one of those feel-good, crisp, clean fragrances that you throw on just like a brand new t-shirt. You spray this on, you can't help but to feel elevated in your mood and in your outlook. It's one of those really good, solid finds. Great cheapy that nobody's talking about. Smells much more expensive than when it is. It's only 20 bucks. Jupe Go. Our next cheapie came out in 2007. You know how a lot of times celebrities will come out with a fragrance and it's just kind of thrown together. That's not the case with Usher. They came out in 2007, the dual efforts of Honorine Blanc and Richard Erpin, master perfumers. You've got melon, you've got lemon verbena, fresh pineapple in the top. You've got vetiver, violet, uh, white pepper, and lavender in the heart. Amber, musk, suede, sandalwood, and guyac wood comprise the base of Usher or er, as some people call it. I kind of like that lid too. It's got kind of a nice design, kind of it looks almost like a Celtic design. The great thing about all of these fragrances that I'm talking about today, I've specifically chosen fragrances that have a timeless classic appeal to them. So none of them smell dated, none of them smell old or non-relevant. Super masculine, it's got a woody, woodsy musky. Perfect for cooler weather. It can be worn year round, but primarily I think it's better for the cooler climbs. It can also be worn formally or casually. It's got that dark, woodsy, sensual musk about it. So it's gonna be perfect for date nights or other scenarios. Usher, you would think, would be super expensive. I found it at a rack store for 20 bucks. You can get it for less than 30 bucks online at most discounters as well. Highly recommend you check out Usher. 
Next up is a fragrance from the car manufacturer Ferrari. They started making fragrances back in 2015, and this is the second one in their lineup called Noble Fig. Noble Fig is a wonderful smelling. It's booked as a unisex fragrance, but it's actually, it smells more manly than it does feminine. If you're a woman wearing this fragrance, nobody's gonna come up to you and say, that smells like a man, but it does have a masculine bent to it. With top notes of fig leaf, mandarin, pink pepper, heart notes of clary sage and iris, with an earthy musk and patchouli to round it out in the base. Now this one is one of those relatively simple scent profiles, but one of the things I really like about this, the fig is a kind of a softer note. And so while this is a soft fragrance, it's a definitively fig oriented fragrance, thus the name of course, Noble Fig. A lot of fig fragrances recede into the background and some of the other supportive notes actually come to the foreground. With this one, it's all fig. 24 7 365 it's a very masculine pleasant relaxing fragrance this is another one of those lift your spirit fragrances when you spray it on you just feel elevated you feel good this one is going to be best utilized for spring and summer but again during the cooler months you can also wear it when you're stuck inside i really like the earthy kind of rooty powdery uh, clary sage that's in here as the spice and it's accompanied by that softer iris it makes a really nice duo. Smelling Noble Fig, you would definitely think you're paying high dollar for a fragrance like this. Of course, the Ferrari presentation is also super nice. Super heavy glass, got that leather going around the top of the silver lid to the fragrance. Looks expensive, smells expensive. It's only 22 bucks. Highly recommend that you give Noble Fig from Ferrari a try. Along with Ferrari, that same year, 2015, saw a third fragrance in the Ferrari line of fragrances called Pure Lavender. Pure Lavender is another unisex build fragrance that is also more masculine than it is feminine. Someone online that was actually rating the fragrance said that they bought it for themselves and they ended up giving it to their husband because they also thought that it smelled more masculine. You can wear what you want to wear, but it does smell, or it smells very nicely masculine. It is a super clean fragrance. It's not just pure lavender like the name though. It's got some backup elements as well. You've got a fruity bergamot in the top and then a nice creamy vanilla to bring everything round and center. But the forward note in this, of course, is lavender. Wonderful thing about lavender, it's very soothing. It's very relaxing. Let's say at the end of a very stressful day, you get out of the shower, you want to go like straight to bed or maybe just watch a movie while laying in bed. This is a wonderful fragrance to put on. Just like Noble Fig, it smells so much more expensive than what it actually is. This one is definitely under 30 bucks. You can get it for right around 25, 28 bucks. Similar to Noble Fig, this one can be worn casually or dressed up. This is another spring and summer fragrance, but again, you can wear it year round. In cooler climes, it's wonderful to wear inside. Just has that kind of cozy, clean feeling, and it's great to wear at nighttime, especially as you want to center yourself, bring yourself down from a very busy, stressful day. It's excellent for its calming and relaxing attributes. Pure Lavender by Ferrari. Our next cheap costing but expensive smelling fragrance came out in 2017. Perfumer Michel Almeray created it. It has one of the coolest commercials of any kind of fragrance commercial ever. I really love that silver and chromite look. And in fact, it is from the design and perfume house side of the Jaguar Manufacturing Company, and it is called Jaguar Classic Chromite. It does have that classic chromite finish on the bottle. It's very rough, very cool silver accents on the bottle itself. It's designed to make you think of a Jaguar that has that finish on it. In the top, you've got orange mandarin, green apple, olibanum wood, patchouli and cedar wood are in the heart, resting at a base of ambroxan, praline absolute, and tonka bean. I absolutely love how this fragrance smells. Just like the car that it's mimicking in terms of the presentation, it smells classic, clean, and yet infinitely rich smelling. It's not rich dark, it's rich on the lighter side. So that green apple keeps it very fresh. This is another one of those fragrances that even though it does have some synthetics in it, you don't even care. It smells so good, super well blended, and it's no surprise that Michel Almeray was in, involved in the creation of it. There wouldn't be anything wrong with dressing this fragrance up, but it's gonna be primarily for casual wear, daytime and nighttime wear year round. Some of the spicier fragrant notes in this will make it perfect for cooler weather, but it also will shine in warmer weather as well. It's sleek, it's youthful, it's energetic, it's masculine. Again, it smells expensive and is ridiculously cheap. You can buy this on clearance right now at Fragrance Net for $13. This is one of those fragrances that before you know it, it's discontinued. I recommend grabbing it up before it does. Jaguar Classic Chromite. 
Our next expensive smelling fragrance that is super affordable came out in 2007 and has perfume master Natalie Lorson behind it and it is Mandarina Duck called Black. This is a very powdery, earthy, woody smelling fragrance. It contains essences of bergamot, tangerine, and pepper in the top. We've got African orange flower and tiara flower in the heart so it's got a very nice floral heart to it. With a base that's rounded out with tonka bean, you've got vanilla, Virginia cedar, and sandalwood. Mandarina Duck Black is one of those fragrances that not only does the presentation look really cool, but it also smells wonderfully masculine and unique. This is one of those really nice, unique fragrances that you want to wear on any occasion. It doesn't matter whether it's daytime or nighttime, whether it's dressed up or casual. There is a laid back feel to the fragrance. It's going to be a little bit more youthful oriented fragrance. It's going to be best utilized for nighttime wear in a casual setting. That perfect mixture of citrus, woody, musk, floral is a great combination to wear in cooler weather. And again, just like with all these fragrances with Mandarina Duck Black, you're not going to break the bank. It smells much more expensive than what it really is. Definitely under 30 bucks. You can get this for about 28 bucks. Guys, I could go on and on about these fragrances. We've run out of time, but that's all really I wanted to give you just kind of an overview of some of the best features and qualities of these fragrances, but primarily they smell so much more expensive than what they are. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. I really appreciate you coming by and supporting me on my channel. It means the world to me. I hope you and your family continue to have a safe and happy holiday. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow.